Hello everyone, it's Adet, your forum master, and welcome to part 3 of Let's Build a House in SketchUp. So, um, yeah, in the previous parts, um, yeah, the previous two parts, we built this, which you see over here, and today we're going to uh, get pretty close to the end of just the overall shaping, I think. Uh, we might actually just finish it like completely and then in the next part we'll be able to actually start with like coloring uh, the walls and stuff um, and maybe the interior uh, still please let me know what you um, would like me to do interior or no interior and then um, yeah I'll make a decision but um, yeah here we're making the last pillar actually which I didn't do the last part for some reason um, and then I'm going to add this and from now on this will be kind of symmetrical uh, to the other side of the house but um, this side has this cool like patio um, shutter thing in front of it actually which makes it different and I really like the way it's shaped as well because here you kind of have that yeah that's curved part well not curved but like that standard diagonal part and then you turn around it and then here you see that diagonal or yeah it's not diagonal it's just going down diagonally kind of you, i guess you could say it like that um hard to explain so let me see yeah that distance i still know the distance there we go yeah i know it's um and i think i'm actually just going to use exactly the same method i did there wait a second so i have to look up one more thing there we go and then i'm just going to divide this into halves just like if you've seen the first part just like i did there um there we go just to create some cool looking shutters um because every modern house needs shutters of course or at least shutters do really create a modern effect which i like about it um and it's a really cool way to actually like get wood into the uh, modern architecture or the architecture of a modern house like this one so that's just simply what i like about it whoops alrighty and then moving it forward that's it and then the windows behind it because of course that's kind of the idea of shutters to get the sun away or just not have the sun be irritating in your face while you're doing something um righty um then now i'm going to add some more of those windows let me see how did i actually do it there yeah just two windows it's I think yeah that should work out fine I guess I hope at least because otherwise it would be screwed up um now I think yeah that's working fine um let me see adding that adding the frame of the window copy paste is kind of the key to everything when it comes to SketchUp copying and pasting is so much easier than rebuilding everything it's even easier than just looking up like the sizes or the skills you've used uh by measuring which i also did uh, previously because i couldn't do any different but copying is just so much easier unless you have to turn it around for me that's at least one of the reasons why i don't always do it because that can make it so much harder um there we go and then we have the other side of the house as well and you can actually really see through the entire house and you really see how bad the structure looks like actually from the inside so maybe i should fix that if I, uh, we actually make the interior as well um but until then i don't think i'm really going to change anything about that maybe i could wait in that case i'm just going to save it just to make sure there we go in case it does actually screw up because I'm not too sure about this because if we make the interior you would of course want the walls just to be like normal oh yeah what was that trick again there was a trick to actually 
There was a trick to actually like move all the levels down, kind of. But I don't know what that, how you, this person did that. I believe it was one of this. It was one of these like tools, I believe, but I'm not sure which one. I have no idea, seriously. Um, it was kind of, was it this one? No, because there's so many tools which I actually never use, seriously. Don't know if I should be like ashamed or not, but there are literally enough tools that I've never used. Oh, that's kind of handy actually. Um, oh yeah, that's it, that's it. This is the one we need. There you go. Because, okay, it's not clear what it works like, but um, you see this in this, oh, what is this? Come on, I, I don't know how it works again, what it works like actually. Um, let me see. If I add that, okay, this, it doesn't make much progress, but in the end, it might does help for the interior as well if I know what this works like again. Because I believe you should be able to actually move this down or something. Because then, as you can see here, it makes working inside much easier again, already actually. And I can actually just make like a normal interior here. So this works out already, but I think I'll watch that person's video on how to actually do that or it was like it wasn't a tutorial this person just used it so i just have to find out how to actually use it myself because it is very helpful because as you can see we can just you know kind of make sure it's not as messy from the inside as it was before there we go you know that makes it look so much better actually from the outside as well such a wide wall there um and i'm just going to continue this fuck it screw it i like it um i like kind of tightening this up but i do want to know what this tool works like seriously because it is a very handy tool i know that but what it works like i've got no idea of um and these shutters look so terrible from the inside, seriously. From the inside, these things are actually very ugly. Let me see. Yeah, this is one of those levels which doesn't work, I believe, because as you just saw, there are like levels which there are windows and which doesn't do not have windows. No, alrighty. Um, whenever we will actually make the interior of the house, I will actually make sure that this tool works and we'll actually go further into this. Now, I do hope that I'll actually be able to fix this again because seriously, it seems like I've got to just undo what I just did in order in order for this to work. Oh, oops. Okay, wait, delete that, delete that. Okay, that does work. Okay, so you can just select it. Okay, well, at least it's deleted and it works out. Um. So we've got the shape here. This doesn't look that good actually. This part over here. Um, I've got to clean, walk clean, just make it a little bit less messy there. Um, by adding lines, which is of course kind of illogical, but in the end it will work out. Um, there we go, because I'm making a patio over here. Because that's kind of what belongs to such a um, yeah, such a patio overhanging part which we have over here, which I have no idea what you could call it actually. The 
deleting those lines. Whoops. Righty, it's a little bit less messy. It's just that this part doesn't look that good. But maybe it is just because it really doesn't look good. So um, maybe it works to just do this. But that's not that good for that patio thing. But maybe, you know what? Otherwise, I just move this patio thing to the other side a little bit. By first deleting this because otherwise it won't work. Seriously, the erasing tool is a hero. And the push and pull tool as well, seriously. If you use Ketchup but you don't use the push and pull tool, I seriously wondered in which way you actually use Ketchup because it's the push and pull tool is such a hero. Um, let me see. Alrighty, then we move it over there. And then this is a little bit too much maybe. That one as well, so there we go. Yeah, that's looking cool. It's looking fine now, I think. So that's great. Um, alrighty. Um, let me see. How am I actually going to do this? Am I going to add windows over? I think I'm going to add windows over here, but very small ones, like kind of realistic ones, which you'd normally see in a house like this. Um, yeah, this really. Yeah, I really like the look of this house. It's like really kind of the modern house I'd hoped it to look like. Um, the way I, I'd hoped it to look like. So I'm very happy with that. There we go. Right, if I actually make that window out of claws as well. There we go. So it's looking pretty fine. Um, I think I'll have to make a door over here as well. Maybe. Because that would look better, I think. And of course, it's good to have. Because, yeah, it's, just, no, it's not a garage. Nope, that doesn't work. There we go. Alrighty. Um, now we've actually closed off the house, so that's good. But now I've just got to come up with an idea what to do there. And um, maybe we can actually finish the entire shape. Maybe not, I still have to figure out because it might take too long to actually finish it all. Um, yeah, I really, it's really just like a modern house should be like, so I'm really happy with that. And please let me know what you think of it. Just give some tips because uh, part four is not pre-recorded. I've talked about the pre-recording a lot already, so I'm not going to say anything about it this time because maybe it gets like irritating as hell. So um, yeah, if you wonder what I mean with pre-recording, um, just check out the previous episodes, which I think you have done because otherwise you wouldn't watch like part three of a series. But um, maybe there are people for some reason, um, like certain episodes just sometimes get like a huge increase in views. And uh, part three always seems to have more views like than part two for some reason. So that's not logical at all if you think about it. But it is some kind of, you know, Thing which seems to come back or at least for my videos part three always seems to have like more views than part two part one of course has the most views but sometimes for the let's build an apartment series in the sims 4 for my channel um yeah one episode actually has like more views than the first part and i think it's like part six which has more views than part one but um yeah for some reason that happens i don't know why uh and i've actually thinking of adding these windows at the back 
over here as well because they look pretty cool and in this way you know with the backside it might be like a really cool view and in this way you have a good view no i'm actually not adding it i added it and i was like i'm not going to use that um but i do want there to be like big windows that's what i was talking about but um not those windows these are like even bigger actually or at least they're the windows itself are not bigger but the area it faces is bigger so i'm going to check out whether this looks good and then we're at the end of this third part of let's build a house in sketchup step by step so um yeah which is a tutorial but mainly entertainment actually um alrighty that doesn't work Right, in that case, I'm deleting that because it didn't seem to be part of it. There we go. Okay, that doesn't work because it's not lined up. There we go. Mm, concentration. Okay, why doesn't this work? Seriously. It did w just work. Alrighty. Um, SketchUp being as annoying as it can get. Seriously, this is like, I think the most annoying part of SketchUp is that it sometimes can just like, literally just not work. Like, and the problem is often that you just have no idea why it doesn't work. Maybe you're currently watching and you're like, it's pretty clear why it doesn't work. But, um, yeah, this episode has been long enough, uh, in my opinion. So I'm actually going to continue working that on that uh, in the next part. But I hope you enjoyed watching this part. I really enjoyed making it. I really think this uh, is starting to look cool. So yeah, please let me know what you think of it. And then I hope to see you back in the next part. Bye.